What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is a video all about the Intel 330 series SSD drive. I picked this up on Black Friday as my only Black Friday purchase. I'm planning to put this into my MacBook Pro, speed things up a little bit. So today's video we're going to go ahead and unbox this and take a quick look at what's inside. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to look at is the front of the box, which basically is just the Intel logo as well as the series you purchased, this one being the 330 series at 240 gigabytes. On the side of the box you have very similar information as well as a couple of point form notes about what's included and what it can do for you. On the back again you have what is included as well as a note that there is a three year limited warranty which is a great feature to have with any SSD drive. Now for this unboxing you will need some type of unboxing knife or a knife in general to cut the slit on the side of the box so we'll go ahead and do that. First thing you'll see when you open the box is the SSD drive itself. We're going to go ahead and put that to the side and get into that a little bit later on in the video. Included with your SSD is a Speed Demon sticker as well as a quick start guide to show you how to install this on a laptop or a desktop. Now Intel has also included a mini disk here with your installation guide and warranty. This is the data migration software. As for hardware, you're going to be given some power cables, some screws, your SATA connector, and more screws. This is to go with your 3.5 inch adapter bracket. This is for a desktop, so I won't be using that with this. Moving on to the SSD drive itself, you'll notice the back has like some type of scratch or flat finish. This is just the way it came out of the box. On the front side, you just have some information as well as the Intel logo on the side. You've got your screws. On the side, you have your power and SATA ports. This is where you're going to need to connect everything. Now, I will be installing this on my 15-inch MacBook Pro and providing you guys with updates on speed tests as well as performance, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe up top, hit that like button down below, leave a comment, share it, and I will see you guys in the next one. 